Okay, let's look at a couple of last things to finish up. Um, when you right click on a voice slot you get this menu. Okay, let's look at this copy voice and sequence and then the paste sequence where you get this cryptic list. Yeah. Okay, now this copy voice and sequence is pretty cryptic. It's not explained in the manual and it's not explained out there on any user groups or web pages. The reason this is so cryptic is the way this menu item has been written. It says copy voice and sequence which sounds as if sequence is in the singular form. So you choose copy voice and sequence and you think you're copying the voice and you think you're also copying the sequence that you see in the sequencer here for that voice in the current pattern. But that's not what's happening. This menu item should really be rewritten so it says copy voice and sequences in the plural. Because when you choose copy voice and sequences you're actually copying the voice and you're also copying all the sequences for that voice from the active patterns in the pattern list. Okay, now we know Ultrabeat Sequencer has 24 pattern slots. The ones with SQ afterwards, these are active patterns. These have got something in them. Currently I've got 10 active patterns. But patterns 11 to 24, they're empty. They've got nothing in at all. Okay. So it doesn't matter which pattern I'm in, if I choose the kick and choose copy voice and sequences, I'm copying the kick drum voice, but I'm also copying all the sequences for the kick drum from all of the ten active patterns. Okay, so let's make this easy to understand. I'll set it up like this. In pattern one, the kick drum sequence has one note. In pattern two, the kick drum sequence has two notes. In pattern three, the kick drum sequence has three notes. In pattern four, the kick drum sequence has four notes. In five, it has five notes. In six, it has six notes. In seven, it has seven notes. In eight, it has eight notes. In nine, it has nine notes. And in pattern 10, the kick drum sequence has 10 notes. Okay, I've made it so that in each pattern, the kick drum sequence has got the same amount of notes as the pattern number. Okay, now I can be in any pattern, let's say pattern one. I right click, I choose copy, voice and sequences. I copy the voice and all the sequences for the kick drum from the 10 active patterns. Okay, now, if I now go to a different voice and right click and choose paste sequence, I can now paste the sequence for the kick drum from any of the 10 active patterns into the current voice slot in the current pattern that I'm in. So I'm in pattern 1, I right click and I'm going to paste into pattern 1, into this voice, the kick drum sequence from pattern 8, which had 8 notes. Boom. And now the current voice in pattern 1 has got the 8 notes pasted in from the kick drum sequence in pattern 8. Yeah, or I could paste in the kick drum sequence from pattern 3, which has three notes. And now this voice in pattern 1 has got the three notes pasted in from the kick drum sequence from pattern 3. You can do it like that, yeah? Or you can do paste sequence all, and it will paste all of the sequences copied from the kick drum from the ten active patterns into the current voice so that the current voice will have the same sequences in the 10 active patterns as the kick drum. Okay, Paste sequence all and now this voice in pattern 1 has got one note in its sequence, in pattern 2 has two notes in its sequence, in 3 three notes, in 4 four notes, in 5 five notes, in 6 six notes etc. up to pattern 10 where it has 10 notes. So that's that's what it is. You know, this is actually copy voice and sequences and if I copy voice and sequences for the kick, there's only 10 active patterns, so I copy the 10 sequences from the 10 active patterns. And that's why <coughs> when I go to paste the sequences, I can only paste the sequences from the 10 active patterns. Pattern 11 to 24 is greyed out because they were empty, so they were never copied. Yeah? Okay. So there you go, that is copy voice and sequences. Okay, now pasting the voice is as you'd expect. You know, if you choose a voice, copy voice and sequences okay, and then go to another voice slot and paste voice, you're simply copying the voice from here and pasting it into here. 
which, which basically copies the voice, all the synthesis and any samples from one slot position into a new slot position. Okay, But that's what this copy voice and sequences is. All right. Okay, that's that. 